Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you ever do any color grading in Lightroom, you probably know that there are some preset color swatches that you could choose from. What you may not know is you could put any color you want into those preset swatches so that you could easily access it in the future. And the reason why you might want to do that is you may have a specific way you color grade your images and you want that color grading to be consistent from image to image to image. Well, instead of having to manually dial in that color every time, you could just create that preset swatch. Let me show you how to do it. I have this image here. I did some basic processing on it. Nothing too fancy, as you could see. So we're going to go down to color grading and the swatches that I'm talking about are available in every view except for the three tone view. So you won't see it in midtones, business, uh, shadows and highlights together. You have to go to one of the individual tones. Let's go to midtones and I'm talking about these swatches right here. If you click on that, you'll notice that there's a number of preset swatches. So I could choose one of these presets. Now what you may not notice or know is that I could put any color I want in here. Let me show you. Let's reset this. I'm going to hold the uh, Option key on my Mac down, Alt key on a PC, and I'll reset the midtones. And then what I'll do is I want, let's say, a teal color for the midtones. So I'm going to pull this over towards teal, and I'm going to make it pretty heavy. So something like that. So this is the color that I always want to use from image to image to image. So to put it as a preset swatch, click on the swatch. Let's say I want to replace this far right one with that color. Just right click right on it and go down to set this swatch to current color. And now it's there. Now let's continue our color grading. Let's go to highlights. And for highlights, I'm going to put an orange color in there. Something a bit orangey. Something, yeah, something like that. All right, so we have this. Now I want to save this as a preset swatch. Again, click on it, then I'll put it right here. I'm just going to right click. And while I have this little menu open, I just want to make you aware that in this menu towards the bottom, you could see you could reset that current swatch to its default setting, or you could reset all the swatches to their default setting. So if you put a bunch of presets in here and you want to just go back, to the way they were when you first started using Lightroom, just reset all the swatches. Now I'm gonna set this swatch to the current color. So you can see it's there and they'll always be there until I reset them. So I'm able to access these colors from now on and not having to come in and dial in the hue and dial in the saturation and dial in the luminance every single time. Now, these preset swatches aren't just available in color grading. Let's go up to masking and let's, uh, just to make it easy, let's get a brush. This is, isn't anything I would actually do, but let's just brush in on this um, poster that's on this wall over here. Okay, so just a sloppy thing, but it's going to serve its purpose. Go down here where it says color and click on this little rectangle and you can see we have swatches going across the top. I could pick one of those, just click on it, or I could dial in my own, let's say, Let's dial in something totally different than what's there. All right. So I dialed in my own. Now, if I want to save that swatch in this far right position, just right click right on it and set this swatch to the current color. Now it's there and it will always be there until I reset it. And again, to reset these to their default colors, just right click on any of them and then go down to reset all swatches. And you can see they're all reset. So that is the color swatch presets that are found in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>